Hi guys, I'm Elizabeth from the Astrakhan State Medical Academy and a third year student. Um, I just again, just now now ran into vitamins and it's very annoying to uh, bump into something that you're avoiding. But I thought it's about time I actually tackle vitamins, although there's a lot to remember. I, I think there is an easier way to remember all of this information. So I thought I might as well just share this uh, with you. And for those that find it useful, I hope that um, you do make use of it. Um, right, so let's just get right into it. Uh, vitamins are divided into two major groups, right? So we have water-soluble vitamins and uh, fat-soluble vitamins. Under fat-soluble vitamins are vitamins A, D, E, and K. I usually refer to them as the adduct vitamins. Uh, if you can't remember whether or if you think you're confused whether they fall under water-soluble or fat-soluble, for those that speak Afrikaans, um, if you are fat, then a shade duck. Okay, duck is just another way of um, saying thick. Um, yeah, no offense to anyone. This is just a way to remember, like I said. Uh, right, and then uh, water-soluble vitamins are again divided into two major groups. And those are your non-B complex vitamins, non-B complex, and your B complex vitamins. Uh, under non-B complex vitamins, we only have one, and that is the pretty little C. Um, and under B complex, we have again three subgroups, and those uh, are named as follows. Um, energy releasing vitamins. Then you have hemopoietic, hemopoietic, poetic vitamins, and other vitamins. Now your B complex vitamins uh, are eight, and they are B1, B2, B3. We don't have a B4, so B5, B6, B7. Oh, sorry. B. We don't have a B8, so B9, B, and B12. And for each uh, number is an allocated name. For B1, it is theamine. B2 is riboflavin, B3 is niacin, B5 is pantothenic acid, B6 is uh, pyridoxin, B7 is biotin, B9 is folic acid, and finally, B12 is cobalamin. Now, how do you remember what name goes for what number? Here's the here's a method. Um, I usually take a keyword, and for thiamine, I take the keyword mine. If it's mine, it's only for one person, so it's B1. Riboflavin, I take the R and the F. And if I join R... And F, it gives me a 2. So riboflavin is B2. Niacin, I take the N. If I take the N and I complete it, it will give me a 3. Like 3. So niacin is B3. Panthothenic acid. Panther. Panther is a black cat. A cat has 5 pores. So obviously panthothenic acid is B5. Pyridoxin is uh, B6. Six, if you kind of turn it uh, turn it around, we'll have a P, so pyridoxin. Uh, biotin, B7. If we complete it that way, we'll have a B, so B7 is biotin. Folic acid, B9. The 9 to me looks like a net. And if... A ball needs to fall through, so B9 is folic acid. And lastly, cobalamin, I just have to remember. Now, um, these B vitamins have uh, coenzymes that have specific names. And uh, the ones with specific names are B1, 3, 6, and 9. So basically, just start from 1 and skip, uh, select, skip, select, skip, select. Um, they have specific names, and the names are as follows. Mm. 
Okay, for theamine, we have T. Th uh, let me do it's theamine pyrophosphate, and it is abbreviated as TPP. For niacin, we have NAD and NADP. NAD is a, a hydrogen carrier which is used in the electron transport chain and yes, other reactions. And um, it is abbreviated as uh, it is. It stands for um, nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide, and this is also nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide phosphate right and then we have for pyridoxin the uh, coenzyme is py, py, pyridoxal pyridoxal phosphate and if you'll have trouble remembering that just uh, refer to this and it kind of Take the pyro from there and the phosphate from there, and then you have pyridoxal phosphate. It's abbreviated as PLP, so pyridoxal 5 phosphate. Uh, and then we have folic acid. Folic acid has is a, uh, the coenzyme is abbreviated THF, which stands for tetrahydro. Oh, I think it's one one name, yeah. Tetrahydrofolate. Yes, tetrahydrofolate. How do you remember this? Acid has four letters in it, which is tetra, so tetrahydrofolate. Right, uh, and before we start grouping or ca categorizing these vitamins under the three main groups of B complex vitamins, I'd like you to remember the following numbers uh, 12. 13, skip two places, then 13 again, then 30, 400, and then 2.4. And we come back to the places that you've missed, insert a 16, and after 16 comes what? 17 here, and then of course the middle one will be a 5, right? Because 5 has a, a mid value or whatever. And this basically will, re help, will help you remember the recommended daily allowance of the specific um, B vitamin. So uh, just remember for B1, it will be 1.2. For B2, it will be 1.3. For B3, it will be 1.0. Uh, for B3, it will be 16. Uh, B5, B6 b7 b9 and b12 so for b6 will be 1.3 to 1.7 mm, yes so all your ones have uh have points okay just remember that except for 16 and then the last three are measured in micrograms micrograms my micrograms and then the rest in milligrams so what we've covered now is uh, the recommended daily allowance, the coenzymes, the coenz. Ooh, I'm so used to abbreviating coenzymes, and the names of the B complexes. Now, where where do uh, how do we categorize? the B complex vitamins. Under energy releasing, we have B1, B2, B3, B5, and B7. Uh, so those are basically your odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, including your two. And for B, uh, hemopoietic um, B complex vitamins, we have B9 and 12, and of course you'll have the other, the remaining one is six. So the main function of energy of these uh, B complex vitamins is to release energy. The main function of 9 and 10 is to produce blood cells and the main function of B12 is to produce neurotransmitters neurotransmitters, and for the metabolism of amino acids. Metabolism of amino acids. So yes, there we've covered the, the B complex vitamins. The their numbers, their names, their coenzymes, their recommended daily allowances, and their functions.